Hi guys, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. Getting the setup in order slowly. Today I'm doing the reading in the way I used to. So today we are going to be looking at who is secretly watching over you and why. So we're going to see who's probably stalking you, who is this person who probably just wants to know more about you. We'll try to understand their reasons and we'll see what comes through after that. So I'll be having three bracelets as choices for you. Pile one is going to be this rainbow moonstone. Pile two will be this fluorite bracelet. And pile three is this black obsidian. So have a look at the bracelets. See whichever one attracts you the most and we'll look into the cards. Who is secretly watching over you and why? Let's start with number one. Who's secretly watching over you? And for why I'm going to use another deck. I'm using, uh, I'm using all the witchy decks today. So what's the energy like? Who is secretly watching over you? Pile number one, this card wants to come. Okay, right away I see somebody who has been, this is a woman, okay, for majority of you, but then it can be a man's energy also, but what I'm seeing is someone's just jealous of your position, somebody who, and they are very, uh, like, you know, admiration turned into vindictivity that sort of a thing they have gotten into the zone of understanding and feeling anxious about the power that you hold and that is not because you have a lot in your life or anything just that you're so much at peace you're so much in alignment with yourself Another thing that I'm seeing is this person envies your balance, okay? Now, this person could be someone who's jealous of your position. This could be at work. Let me see a little more about this person. Who is this person? Two of Cups. Oh. Interesting. For some, this is a person who, okay, I'm picking up a very different kind of a situation here. So what I'm seeing from here is that someone is in love with you and this person who's jealous of you is in love with that person. And which is why out of jealousy and out of anxiety and out of a lot of feelings, uh, negative feelings, this person is looking you up everywhere. They're looking you up everywhere. And they just do not understand that what is it that you have or what is it that you hold that this person does not. And that makes them feel extremely anxious. They can't take this out of their head. And this person is like, every now and then like they're overthinking maybe that's why the rainbow moonstone this person is just overthinking and obsessing over you but let me see why one reason I figured, but let's see a little more. Why? Why is this person obsessed with you? Ah, 
because this person doesn't this person hasn't seen someone like you ever yeah this person just thinks i mean i think you're also doing something very extraordinary in your life and this person just doesn't know that how are you doing this and how are you managing to build it so much and it's a complete like a uh, simple i would say a very simple case of jealousy which is because of admiration but yeah it shouldn't have turned into jealousy um this is jealousy because i see the moon here but i think this person will change i'm not seeing that uh, he or she is going to continue to feel this way for good no this person's energy will shift okay they're not going to continue to be the way they've been always like this okay because um they are sad they they feel that they could they wish that they could be like you so this person feels very sad moreover i think they also stalk you so that and i think it's on it's all happening through your whereabouts maybe your work is such that uh, people know what you're doing or it's all out there uh, this person just tries to see what are you planning next uh, i i mean there is a lot of sadness in this person maybe because of love like i see that the person that this person loves is in love with you so there is that level of sadness also coming into play okay so this person also feels that they feel very um they feel very uh, incomplete whenever they look at you this person starts to feel that okay there is so much that i can do or i can change and i can transform etc etc but they are not able to figure it out is this person going to do something they'll try to be like you but they'll fail yes and i think there is going to be a communication between the two of you they they this person will try their best to be like you uh, or to maybe dress up like you or to work like you but it will not happen okay it it will it will basically blow things out and things are going to fall out of order so what i'm seeing is that i'm still like i'm getting mixed feelings this person out of their anxiety out of their frustration they want to figure out how you plan your things and how are you so successful maybe this person would land up doing some very stupid things honestly okay and that you will know and you i mean i can just see that you might just laugh and you might feel very funny about it but the truth is that this person is doing it all out of trying to be like you it's more like admiration but that admiration has turned slightly towards vindictivity and it has become complicated okay another thing that i'm seeing is that okay before i jump there what is there something that you need to know or be careful about mm, not really what i'm seeing is that you are content you're fine uh, just don't let your energy get bothered by this person cuz they might want some kind of a reaction from you okay this person might want to like reach out or say something so that you react cuz what they are really um you know what they what they basically want to take away or what they just don't want to um what should i say what this person just doesn't like or admires or just wants to see uh is they want to test your patience they just want to see is it like 
is he or she that calm is it is this all real or is it all made up all these things okay so pretty much that's what it is i don't think you need to be worried about it but yeah this person might try to angry you up a little bit but i think you will so i don't know why this energy is coming up but i think this person is keeping a very close watch on you even though i don't i see this is a more vindictive energy from someone for majority of you this is a woman um but there's nothing to feel scared about but since this is coming up maybe it's trying to tell you about a certain person i'm sure if this is resonated you already know by now all right pile one that's what i have i hope this helps private readings are open so you can reach out to me and let me know in the comments if this resonated all right take care and i'll talk to you soon bye bye all right let's move to pile 2 whoever chose this bracelet let's see who's obsessed with you and who's watching you closely and why obsessed i'm just getting the color red and somebody wants to make you feel a little uncomfortable yes this person has feelings for you but because of their shadow side yeah this person has feelings for you this person might be passive aggressive you already know this person they could be expressing themselves in form of passive aggression they do not like the fact that you don't give them attention this person feels irritated this person feels angry uh they want to uncrack the code for you um but deep down this person has a lot of feelings for you on the face of it it shows up like this person is just being a wanna be but um in reality it's their shadow side like this is how they've always been okay this is how their approach has always been towards people okay this is how they've always reacted this is how they've always kind of you know uh been with people so they just don't know how to express their emotions and this time around they this person is yet to figure this out that they have deep emotions for you Okay so this person is obsessed with you and I'm sure that they're trying to like they'll they'll make you feel uncomfortable they'll give you signs they're going to give you hints then they're going to withdraw then again come back again withdraw again come back I'm seeing that happening over here okay but what do they want what does this person want from you Okay, wow. I was expecting it of once. This person just wants your attention. They want you to try to talk and then you see how they're going to behave like now that and I'm this person is trying to irritate you, okay? And you're probably not responding or you're not saying anything. Um what I'm seeing is that this this person will give you I mean will make you feel very irritated like one moment they're going to be away from you the other moment they're going to want to come close I don't see this person to be bad but they just don't know how to handle their feelings for you this person is stalking you everywhere um for sure because that's the question so obviously then if this their energy has come up which means this person is looking you up everywhere and they want your undivided attention this person craves for your attention
if this person i'm sure like I, they don't talk about you with other people but if they hear from anyone else about you they are going to they want to feel slightly like a fomo that okay and it's a very kiddish way of being however let me see what do they want from you this i'm going to see from another deck what does this person want from you till now i'm just seeing attention they want to make something happen <laughs> what is that they still don't know but they don't want to lose you okay um yeah they're scared they're scared that they might just keep waiting and it wouldn't happen and i see that you probably have history with this person somehow and it's repeating itself one more time okay maybe in a different way but it's happening again so this person is just feeling slightly they want you they I, I, and you know what like i totally understand if this might irritate you because the way they are going to approach you or the way they've been behaving is very immature honestly so what i'm seeing is that they'll try they'll try to um be around you keep talking to you not say what they are feeling in a very kiddish way picking up a very strong gemini aquarius and sagittarius energy this person will not want to lose you one more time is what i'm seeing i'm getting the word one more time they'll tread carefully but this person deep down feels a lot of emotions for you now when i say emotions these are like pure feelings okay this person hasn't felt this way before so they feel it very strongly okay all right that's what i have for you pile 2 i hope this helped private readings are open so you can reach out to me let me know in the comments if this resonated this is the info that i would pick up very interesting energy though yeah i got curiosity because this person has not yet figured out what they have for you so they're still curious and trying to understand getting signs from the universe that okay this is what it is but at the same time they have this resistance playing out very strongly as well one moment they want the answer the other moment they resist the answer so weird <laughs> all right uh let me know in the comments if this resonated and i'll move to pile 3 all right pile 3 whoever chose this black obsidian bracelet let's see who's watching over you or who's obsessed with you and why watching over you and why let's see okay this person has been thinking a lot about you they want to offer a commitment to you commitment but yeah a small form of commitment this person just thinks that you have and yeah they have a lot of feelings and they are aware of it this has come to them from the universe after a lot of contemplation This person wants to start fresh with you but they are not sure whether you wanted to. Now when I say whether you wanted to or what I mean is that this person doesn't know whether um you will value this that they have to give you. This person doesn't know that. um this person has a lot of fears like in general they are ruled by fears and they lack a sense of esteem in them where they probably always think that whatever they want will leave them so even before making this offer this person is feeling scared that you i mean you might just walk away you might turn your back on them 
and you might not value it enough so they're imagining all sorts of worse things when that is not the truth okay when that's basically that's exactly not the truth okay this person has feelings for you okay they really want to take this forward but their shadow side keeps telling them no this is a false myth this is something that is not to be believed this is something different no it's not that you cannot be in love all these self talk like very negative self talk very uh, limiting beliefs about themselves and this person might even when they approach they haven't told you yet okay even when this person would tell you they they were not going to like disclose all their feelings because they ruled a lot by their shadow side what should you do about it because clearly they have love and you will be able to read through it the place that you you are at i can see that you'll be able to read through it but what should you do about this you should protect yourself and for some reason i'm seeing you're being asked by the universe to just be very straightforward and continue to work in your field i'm also seeing that don't pay attention to any negative thinking right now because that doesn't require your attention it's just the devil acting up and you might just land up doing something in in a haste so don't do that okay there is some this person obviously i do pick up some karmic vibes here this person is is testing one of your pattern i don't know what that is but it's like this person tests your patience and your patterns and you i don't know why i felt like checking what should you do about it so for you what i'm seeing is that you should pull back you should pull back you really shouldn't um get bothered or worried about this situation let them cuz you okay this person and you are karmically entangled because you both have anxiety okay this person lacks self esteem you have an anxious attachment pattern somewhere and which is why this whole situation becomes the way it is okay so what i'm seeing here is that you need to slowly stop bothering so much about this situation pull yourself back pull yourself out of it make your life better your focus should only be i don't know why this message is coming cuz this person is clearly obsessed cuz that's the uh, reading that we are doing so even if they are obsessed okay you have to pull yourself back from this situation cuz it's not required for you to you know do so much in general okay all you need to do is just relax and be at ease with yourself because right now your focus should only be work that's what i'm seeing one more thing that i see is don't hurt anybody with your words this is a message to you maybe you land up hurting people with your words for some reason i'm seeing don't do that uh, that's one thing that you need to change about yourself maybe in the quest of protecting yourself you say it and why is it coming in this particular question i don't know maybe you both have a connection so once you guys work on you and this person both both need to work on your dark side the shadow side a little bit and things can shape up maybe that's why your advice is coming out so strongly all right pile 3 okay that's what i have i hope this helps um private readings are open so you can email me and reach out to me take care and i'll talk to you soon bye bye